Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Digimon World 3. In the last part, Pharaohmon kicked Cubimon's ass. But that's okay, because we healed her up, we still beat Pharaohmon, and she is pretty much back to full strength. She's gonna own this Minotaurumon since he's really weak to lightning. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna look further into the ruins. Hopefully we can find Siryu Leader, who's supposed to be training here, and then we'll fight him too. And we'll get our badge or whatever. It's basically a badge. They're not gonna call it a badge because that's Pokemon, but it's basically what it is. Let's check something real quick. Are we at a DP of 15 for everybody, at least? Yeah, okay. So after this, we're gonna head back to Aska City and we're going to train a little bit, as well as do something that I forgot to do there that I realized in between videos. I realized I forgot, that is. Uh, Siryu Leader? Huh? You wanna challenge me? I'm sorry, but I don't fight the weak. But you, if you really want to, then defeat Master Tyranno in Tyranno Valley first. What? But I want to fight you. <sighs> well, I guess. I guess in true RPG fashion, we gotta fight somebody first before we fight him. So yeah, we gotta fight Master Tyranno in Tyranno Valley, which is east, northeast of Siryu City. We have not gone there yet. And we actually need to be a little bit... Oh, frick. Damn it. I meant to do it. I had another chance. This is why you don't just spam X in uh, RPGs. Whatever. Is she going to survive? I think one more hit she'll be able to, yeah. Don't double hit, please. Thank you. Anyway, what I was saying... He's pretty strong, and we need to train a little bit, so we have to go back to Aska City anyway. Keep him on. Don't level up yet. Although she's getting there. Might go ahead and use an item on her. Might use a power charge. I like that in this game they increased the load time of the battles, but the menus load slower than the battles. It's like they're like. The battle system in Digimon World 2 took a long time to load up, so let's make that faster. And you know how the menu is really fast? Let's make that slower. Okay. Priorities? Is it, I guess you actually want your battle system to be the faster of the two, but still. Clunky menus is... You'd think the menus would be easier to optimize than the battle system. Uh oh Giant spider. Own the spider with lightning! I don't think this is going to want to hit him. I think he's even... He's not resistant, but I don't think he's... Yeah, there we go. Oh, well. Is that a poisonous attack? And also, like, like I said, the battle system, even though it loads really fast, it drops down to like 10 to F 15 FPS because of their animations. And all it is is two models in a parallax. It's not like... It's not like it's a freaking ton of models. Oh, well. Who knows? I'm not a programmer, so... I'm not gonna keep criticizing. But we have to head back to the city again. We've actually gone back quite a few times. I wish I would have stopped forgetting things. That's okay, though. Yeah, after this battle, I'll probably cut to the city so we can get the, some things done there. Get some things taken care of. I think QB1's probably going to level up here. Yep, level up. Boom. Anyway, we'll be right back. I'll be in Aska City, and yeah. Alright, so we're back in Aska City, and we're going to look for whatever I was going to look for. Uh, oh yeah, I remember now. Gotta head over here to the, uh, lamb shop. Yeah, that's what it was. I forgot the name of the place. Uh, so we talked to this waitress. Hey, listen, I saw Vmon the other day. He was looking for something at Wind Prairie. Yes, that's really all I needed to come here for. At least here in the city. Because there is still... 
We need to do a little bit of training because we're kind of weak, as you saw Pharaohmon kick Cubimon's ass. So I thought we're going to train a little bit here in Leomon's gym now that we have, you know, 15 trainer points. We actually have 20 on some of them, uh, but we at least have 15 for everybody. So we'll train a little bit here. Leomon, train us. I do want to work out. I want to become strong. Um, really, um, I kind of want to train everybody's defense, although Agumon has pretty good defense already. So, let's go with, yeah, let's just train everybody's defenses for this one. Ah, it's not 15, it's 20 that we should have been wanting. Well, everybody except Agumon can get at least 20 out of this, uh... Yeah. That's good. So, what are we gonna get? Got a perfect one on that one. Two perfect! The triple perfect! Are we gonna go for the four? Fuck. Fucked up the fourth. Oh well. Nice little defense boost. Definitely gonna get the defense boost on Renamon, at least one of them. The second one, I will go back to training spiritual, but... No, oh, Renamon, we need the defense! Oh, Renamon! Well... I was going to do them both on that, but... Oh well, I guess we'll go for spirit. I, I seem to think that their stats are weighted based on the type of Digimon they are. So, like, she failed defense because her defense is really low. But I'm not 100% sure if that's how it works. And we will go with one defense for Mon Mon. And holy crap, look at that. <laughs> look at that strength. We'll go defense for this and we'll do agility for the second one. Uh, speed, that is. Speed affects how often they can dodge, so. I don't think we've seen speed yet, either. Because speed's not really something that I thought was needed, because I thought defense is what affected your block chance, but it's actually your speed, so. We got a really nice speed boost there. Alright, so now we're a little bit more trained up, and hopefully that's enough to beat Master Tyrannomon. So I'm gonna head back to Wind Prairie because there's gonna be something there now that we can actually use. Oh, good transition. All right, so we're back at Wind Prairie and now that we talked to that waitress in the lamb chop, if we head over down here, the top right corner, Beamon, oh crap, random battle. <laughs> Great timing. All right, so we got a Yanmon. Let's use Flame Ball on him. Should take him down pretty nicely. Hopefully. Yep, took him down. So, Greymon is leveling up really quickly, which is what kind of what Greymon does, but Agumon is a slow leveler compared to the rest. So, yeah, that's how that is. Mm -hmm. You want to play? Ah, then what should we play? Hmm. Whoa, Vimon, I want the tree boots. Tree boots? Oh, the boots for kicking trees. Yeah, sure, but only if you play with me. Uh, sure thing, what are we gonna play? I'll go hide in the kicking forest and you have to find me. If you can find me, I'll give you the tree boots. You lose if you leave the forest without finding me, and if you leave the kicking forest, I'm gonna go home to eat. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm gonna find you. Heh, yeah, it won't be that easy. Count to ten and come to the forest. I kinda cheap out on the counting to ten, but... Okay. And I count really fast. Oh well, let's go find him. So, we gotta find Vimon in the kicking forest. We cannot leave this screen. And basically how you find him is he's behind one of the trees. One of all of these trees that he could be at. 
Okay, I'm gonna find V1 and get the tree boots. I have to be careful not to go outside the kicking forest. Alright, so how you do it is just you run up to all these trees, spam the X button. Eventually he will be in one... Oh, wow. Never usually done it that fast, to be honest. Oops, you found me! I don't know if oops is supposed to be the word. Okay, I'll give you the tree boots like promised. And we're magically back here. Hey, you're all right. I'm a bit impressed. Here, take the tree boots. Cool. Thanks, Vimon. Yeah, I got the tree boots. Good for you. I'm going to go home to eat now. Let's play again sometime. Later. Bye, Vimon. All right, so now we got the tree boots. What the tree boots do is, I'm just rushing back into the kicking force to show you, is random battle with a woodmon. It's new. But I'm gonna assume that he's weak to fire, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna think that this attack might do some damage here. Let's see. Yep, just a little bit. Yeah, he defeated. 50 bit. He actually gives quite a bit of bit there. Anyway, uh you go up to a tree, press X, you kick it. I see the little Radar thing there. Kick other trees. Eventually, the radar is like close. I guess it's hard to explain unless I actually get one that actually works. Got these Giza on. Should be cutting out some of these cutscenes or random battles. Also, I'm not quite sure if this background is pixel art or if it's. Like, a real image made to look like it. Not sure. Either way, I I, I kind of like the backgrounds in this. I mean, obviously they're not high quality or anything, but they, they look okay. I think they look okay. Anyway. See how... What I was going to say is, like, the... The radar, how it was panning out even further and further. Well, if you're close to a cardmon, it's a shorter one than these far out ones. Once we actually get a cardmon that's close, you'll see what I mean. But for now, we need to get some items in Siriu City because we didn't have quite enough to buy them last time. I don't think we're going to have enough to buy everything we need right now either. So, armory. First things first, we're gonna load up on defensive stuff. I'm pretty sure this is the best thing we got, right? Yeah. Ten mail, two of them. One for Agumon and one for Monmon. Sell some items too, actually. Because we have this bamboo spear that for some reason doesn't get taken away when we make a fishing pole buckler that we no longer need and that's I guess it All right, so then we also have two shishu marus which I yeah we can't afford uh, let's give it to Agumon why not and then we got Tin Helmet, which is the strongest of these defensive ones. Protect the head from, with the visor. Okay. Can we get three? No, we can't get three. Obviously, Rinamon and go for Monmon since he has the next lowest. And since we have a little bit more of spending money, I'm gonna buy some more power charges. We'll buy five more. Give a little bit, a little bit extra, just in case, and also for sleeping at the end cost. Stay at the end, 16 bits, not too bad. So I guess we'll head up to Tirano Valley now, and 
I'm actually a little bit worried. I'm under leveled, I think, for where we should be right now. Which is strange, because I've done a lot of backtracking and a lot of random battles, so I thought I would be at more. Maybe they expect you to be, like, Cardmon searching or something? Oh, there we go. Now see how that was bright green? Means we're close to a Cardmon, which means probably this? No? This? No? I guess we'll get a different color when we're too far away. Oh, now we're really close. And there's the Cardmon. Oh, no, it was a Woodmon! Tricked me! That must have been just a random battle and not a tree? I don't remember. I think you could get random battles from the trees. But usually it's a Cardmon. And see, now it's not there. Anyway, I guess we should uh, stop fighting these guys, but like I said, I am kind of underpowered, so it's a little bit worrying. But I guess it's not too bad. If I cut one of these next scenes, though, since I, if I get some more random battles... Whoa, we have somebody down here. I'm... Akiba the Happy Tamer. This is great. I feel happy and lucky. All I want is a Digimon battle, so fight with me. Well, okay, I guess since we were worrying about our levels, we get a random battle. Tapiermon is his only Digimon. Well, he better be a strong Tapiermon. Oh. Hey. He's kind of strong. He took a full force attack. He took a full force attack. And I evaded. What do you got? Can I uh, hit him with his normal attack here now? Yep, we can. Alright. So how much experience did I get? 45 experience. Not bad for how easy that was, to be honest. And you see Greymon's up to level 10 just as Agumon hits 8. So... Uh, I actually think I'm going to off-screen a bit, but man, that, I guess we'll go ahead and get to Tirano Valley, since I'll show you where that is. And then... Oh, I don't know, though. Because this next battle, I don't remember doing it before I'm level 10. I just I don't think it's a good idea. He might get wrecked. Ah, but I guess I'll show you where it is, and then I'll just cut to it in the next episode. Haha. -ha. The magic of editing. Oh, no cardmon, apparently. Can't show you that. It... So here in Toronto Valley, it's a desperate wasteland of nothingness. There is enemies, and yeah, that's just as I say it. Airdramon. See how well you like my fireball. Eat it. Mm, he decently liked it. Enough to throw ice at me that I'm gonna block. But see, right, like right here, I'm I'm dropping to like 20 FPS for no real reason. I guess because I'm showing two models, An amazing two models. They optimized some places and left other places unoptimized. It's, I guess that's just how Bandai felt like it working it. Although it was probably not even Bandai that actually like developed. The, they were the publisher, but I don't think they developed the game. I, I'm actually interested to look that stuff up. Back then, I wasn't paying so much attention to who actually developed the game or everything, because you know, back then you expect whoever's name pops up on like selling the game is who made it and it's usually never the case and Airdramon liked blocking a lot I had probably because he's fast Airdramon's defeated all right 
So we can head over here. I don't think there's anything over here. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. And we're gonna get maybe a Tyrannomon fight? Yep. This is the other random battle that can happen here. And he is a lot bigger than Greymon for some reason. I I always thought that Tyrannomon was not as like was at least the same size as Greymon, but in this he's really huge. Although he's the same size as Master Tyrannomon. Which is a little bit strange. Oh well. And my normal attack does the exact same damage as my fire attack because he is a little bit fire resistant. So I'm just going with a normal attack here. Nope. I'm gonna get blocked. So I'm not quite sure, but somehow I lost the audio at the end of this recording, and luckily it was at the end of it, so I don't have too much extra to say. All I really said was I was going to train a little bit extra because we were underleveled, and that next time we would be able to fight Master Tyrannomon. So, sorry the video has to end this way, but thanks for watching, and see you next time.